So what is the deadliest animal in the world? So mosquitoes are the deadliest animals in the world. With up to 110 trillion mosquitoes on the planet, they can carry lethal diseases like malaria, dengue fever, West Nile virus, Zika virus. Deaths in one year due to mosquitoes are 750,000 to 1 million worldwide. And for every person on Earth, there are 16,000 mosquitoes. The National Health Mission, the Universal Immunization Program, is one of the largest public health programs targeting close to 2.67 crore newborns and 2.9 crore pregnant women annually. It is one of the most cost-effective public health interventions and largely responsible for the reduction of vaccine preventable under 5 mortality rate, which is below 5 years of age. So, I welcome you all to this journal club session. My paper is on the awareness of the malaria vaccine in India. It is a web-based cross-sectional study. So, uh, about the introduction, malaria has been a common cause of death in children below, below the age of 5. In 2020, the total death toll from malaria increased by 12% as compared with 2019. According to the WHO, the Southeast Asia region recorded 9,000 deaths due to malaria in 2020. Almost all these deaths are connected to malaria are preventable and treatable. Malaria remains a serious public health problem and according to a 2021 report, India accounts for 81% of malaria cases in Southeast Asia. In October 2021, the WHO approved RTSS AS01 malaria vaccine for administration and four scheduled doses in children five years of age, uh, five months of age, to reduce the burden and severity of malaria. The first dose at five months, second and third dose after one month each, and the fourth dose after 15 to 18 months. The primary aim of the study was to assess public awareness about the vaccine among residents in India and determine any associations with demographic characteristics. And the objective was aimed to testing the awareness and readiness among all social economic backgrounds, different age groups, occupations in the citizens of India. Now our methodology, it was a web-based cross-sectional survey and the study population was 2,371 uh, respondents above the age of 18 years and current residents of India. The questionnaire remained active for 12 weeks. A manuscript was ready in the next four weeks uh, from December 2021 to March 2022. It was reviewed by and verified by the head of the public health department in the University of Minnesota. The data collection, the survey questionnaire was sent out on social media using a qualitative software. A chi-square test was used to examine the software, uh, association between awareness about the vaccine and demographic characteristics. It was shared on various platforms like Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, Telegram, and all the participants indicated consent before uh, answering the survey online. The chi-square test was used to examine the association between awareness for vaccine and the demographic characteristics. A p-value, which is a deviation of less than 0.05, was used to establish a statistically significant association. Now, here's the interesting part, the results. So most participants, 71.95% had heard about the malaria vaccine and 68.75% favored making it a childhood vaccine. Similarly, 67.27% indicated that they would encourage children and wards to get vaccinated. And participants with higher education, residing in urban localities, had more awareness of the vaccine. Now, how is this relevant? Now, certain discussions. Several studies have assessed the awareness of the malaria vaccine, willingness to vaccinate, acceptance of the malaria vaccine, and other parameters in several African countries such as Nigeria, Tanzania, Ghana, and Ethiopia. Now, they have reported high awareness status and high prospects for the pediatric immunization of malaria. The current study is novel in that uh, it evaluated the awareness of the malaria vaccine in India. Moreover, the previous studies assessed are before the WHO approval of the malaria vaccine. Now, the strengths of our research. It was the largest and fastest study conducted after the WHO approved the malaria vaccine. Our study covered all sections of society, urban, rural, men, women, adult, senior citizens, educated, uneducated, aware, unaware. The correlation can add value to medical science in terms of formulating policies at the government level as it covers more states providing more generalized approach. Now, predictably, there are limitations to everything now, our respondents enrolled in the study were educated and had access to social media platforms such as WhatsApp, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, 
Instagram, LinkedIn, which would lead to a response bias. The access to social media and the internet generally predisposes people to news such as the WHO's approval of the malaria vaccine. And additionally, only those participants who can read English responded to the survey. But the latter case is unavoidable uh, due to the extensive linguistic diversity in India. The conclusion is, to eradicate malaria, public knowledge, including awareness about the disease transmission, preventive measures, and vaccine information is important to promote vaccine acceptance and decrease vaccine hesitancy among the population. However, it is critical that health policymakers target populations that are less aware of information on any intended rollout of the malaria vaccine to ensure rapid uptake towards the goal of eliminating malaria from India. And the way forward from here, in order to eliminate malaria, it is crucial to enhance public awareness, understanding of various aspects related to the disease, such as how it spreads, preventive measures, information about vaccine, knowledge plays a significant role in promoting acceptance of the malaria vaccine, reducing any reluctance among the population. The introduction of the vaccine in India has the potential to completely er eradicate the disease, particularly if it is incorporated in the routine immunization schedule for children, which we spoke about in the third slide. However, it is of utmost importance to health policy makers to specifically target populations that have limited knowledge about the planned implementation of the malaria vaccine. This target approach is necessary to ensure swift adoption of the vaccine and accelerate progress towards the ambitious goal of eliminating malaria in India. Although India is currently a low transmission setting and witnessed 77 malaria deaths in 2019, the rollout of the vaccine is imminent. It will not only help India eliminate malaria by 2030, but also maintain the set status. Thank you.